tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can easily relocate the datum, the X0, Y0, Z0, to any location referenced off of our stock geometry. In this example, I've already created the part geometry, and all of the part geometry is referenced off the default X0, Y0, Z0. Now before I apply the toolpath, I'm going to create some stock. Let me change the color to something a little brighter, and I'm going to change the line thickness to something a little thicker as well. That looks good. Let's head over to the command manager, and I'm just going to use the rectangle tool. Now, of course, you can use coordinates to define the opposing diagonal corners of the rectangle, but to speed things up, I'm just going to grid point snap, drag my cursor down and to the right, and then grid point snap again. Now, let's say that this new geometry represents our stock. Now, when the part's mounted out there on the machine tool, we probably want to reference our datum off of one of the corners of the stock. To do this is very simple. Just take your cursor over to the NC Manager, right hand click on the toolpath group, and select WorkShift. WorkShift provides the ability to move the datum, and this small menu gives you the ability to designate how you'd like to relocate the datum. I'm going to use Endpoint. Now I can take my cursor and I can snap any of the endpoints or corners on the stock. I'm going to left click here, and when I'm done, I can right hand mouse click. And once I've clicked the corner, you can see a little yellow axis gnome. That axis gnome represents the new X0, Y0, Z0 for all of our machining operations. And the nice thing is, the original X0, Y0, Z0 will still be used when creating geometry. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.